everybody. It's Mimi J. Welcome to my channel. I have a combined haul today, Tuesday morning, and some Jane Davenport items that I got from Michaels and the Jane Davenport, at least uh, I think probably tomorrow fr or Friday as well. It, it's half off. I, I bought it Thursday. It's half off. But then they had a coupon if you um, buy online and pick up in store, it was um, an additional 25% off. So that was pretty good. Not everything in Jane Davenport was on sale, but most of it was. Okay, I'll try to hold these close enough that you can see the SKU numbers. And I did find out there is a number you can call for Tuesday morning. And if you have the SKU number, you can actually check and see where an item is if it's at one of the Tuesday mornings near you. You put the SKU in and a zip code and it'll check for you. It worked for me. I tried it just a while ago. They're all white. <laughs> so I don't know that there's any need to go through it, but it's some nice, just a, a little nice drawing pad that I want to try with the Spectrum Noir markers that I bought at Tuesday morning. So that's a five by seven pad. Uh, these are not the Spectrum Noir markers. These are some alcohol markers. Yeah, sorry about that skew thing. I'm doing my best. We'll see how it turns out. I can always write them in the description box if they don't uh, show up. This is Firefly. And as you can see, it's pinks. It's got a nib on one end and um, just a, a chisel on the other. Okay, some little cut out leaves, glitter, They're maple leaves and like a dark burgundy glitter. This is American Crafts, just plain markers that have several different colors. And that one, some really bright ones here, it's called Creative Zen. So you've got the same brand, different colors color packets and this one is more the neutrals in that same brand browns and tans so nice variety there and here are the spectrum noir they have a, kind of a pointed end on them spectrum noir basics so hopefully you can see that and here's a color guide on the back so they're dual end markers. And as you know, these kind of markers can be kind of pricey. All right, I got a Tim Holtz uh, clock die. I saw someone, and I don't know who, or I would tell you who, who did a shaker out of these, uh, uh, using this die. I'm pretty sure it was the same die. And it was just adorable. There's some gesso. You know, we can always use that in our mixed media projects. It's a $2.99, which is a good buy for just so. All right, papers. My favorite things. A few of my favorite things. This is some Bow Bunny. Uh, look at these colors. They are so pretty. Pastels. Kind of hard to go wrong. And look at that. Oh, really gorgeous yellow. I think there's about three of each, so they're certainly going to repeat. And that's a little six by six pad. I've got another six by six pad that is called Mary Mary. It just says uh, pebbles. I don't so that's different. These are adorable. <laughs> I love the colors. Oh, so cute. Mm, this is pretty. Small tags, but tags. The poinsettias. And talk about really small, <laughs> really small. Um, I think I'd use them as tags just as a pattern here. So cute, little gingerbread man. Okay, this is, I guess the company is DC 
WV. Not not that familiar with that one, but you probably, if you have been crafting or scrapbooking a long time, maybe you are. Uh, the Twinkle Glints. This is 24 sheets of the 6x6. Six six. And let's see, this is some very sparkly paper. Wow. Beautiful, though. Look at that. Three, four sheets of each. Kind of a platinum color here. And it's really very tiny polka dots. Don't know how that's coming across. Silver glitter. Real pretty. Little stripes. And this is uh, black, but it is actually, let's actually have a little bit of glitter to it. Not the kind that comes off on your hands, which is really good. That glitter shed. All right. And I wanted some solid colors. So again, we have the DCWV uh, stack here, card stock. And they're, they are plain. Um, you know, no decorations on this. And I just wanted a nice variety of colors, solid colors, to have a, a real nice tooth to the paper. It's uh, just a little cross hatch that you probably are, is not coming through um, because it's a real subtle texture. But that's going to be super for um, the using my dyes with Sometimes you just need some solid colors. Maybe greens and just a little bit of everything and that was exactly what I was looking for. This was, I think, an incredible buy. It's 48 sheets of this paper house paper and it's one-sided but it was only $4.99 and I think that's just amazing. And it's beautiful, beautiful paper. And you're getting a, getting some stickers in the front. Okay, so very pretty. That's a, a sheet of stickers. And there's a good bit of foil in this paper. So pretty. So field guide, is that what it says? Field study. And it looks like that. It looks somewhat masculine. Um, a little close enough so you can see it real well and notice the the foil how nice that looks and they do repeat so I'm not cutting anything out here but, uh, dragonfly some more butterflies it's like old leather old leather book countryside Mm, beautiful foil there and some cutouts. Ah, oh, the Blue Jay. I'm very impressed with this paper, especially for the money. And I think some of this is repeating again. Oh, gorgeous. It's starting to look kind of familiar. Okay, here's this Frontier, which is a little pricier and not as many sheets, but they, it's really a pretty cool um, group of, of, of pictures on here. Uh, it's authentic. This reminds me of farm, farmhouse style. So nice. The wood, the wood grain, and the looks like wallpaper. My my granddaddy used to have a cabin by a pond and these patterns and things are uh, well not the barbed wire but <laughs> the others who well, are not horses he didn't have horses but a lot of this kind of reminds me of um, the wallpaper and there were old-fashioned floors that were what they're made out of some kind of material um, hard material, but they would put those um, floral patterns on them. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about or not. 
And that's such a long ago memory that I don't remember much of it. So, okay, that was everything from Tuesday morning. So I'm gonna go right into the Michael stuff from uh, Jane Davenport. I'm not gonna try to show skew numbers on this because you're not gonna need them on that. Brushes, you can just put water in it and go over um, markers and things. Okay, these are paint over pens. That'll look nice on the colors. The white, I think, will be a really nice highlight. I think that's mainly what they're for, adding highlights. And here are watercolor crayons. So that'll be fun to use and see if those water-filled little brushes will work with that. Um, and there's a picture of what they look like. And again, this stuff, Everything I got was 50% off and then 25% more off of that if you buy online and uh, pick up in store. I don't know if that's gonna still be the case, but you can certainly check. Look at these paints. Um, and there's a stencil inside. Right here is the stencil. So a picture of it and there's a paintbrush. And these are all, I think they're all alcohol inks, I think, incredible ink, but some gorgeous colors here. There's two of them, there's a couple more, and a, a pink, a bright pink, and a turquoise maybe. Very pretty. And... Uh, one of them's green, one of them's blue, I guess. Or, and I got a, a sheet of paper, of the Jane Davenport paper, which is just so pretty. She's, um, she's so talented. Look at this. So uh, this will be great for mixed media and collage and some babies here. And try to get it closer. You can get a, a better look. It's pretty nice to have uh, all those colors and some illustrations laid in that you can use and make your own. So thank you Jane Davenport for this gorgeous paper and, and your, your beautiful drawings. Very feminine, very pretty, and very bright. Just makes you feel good to look at it. It's, it's whimsical. You see a lot of uh, watercolor washes and look how pretty that is. Oh, that's just gorgeous. This lady here, I love that hat. How great is that? And I think we're repeating maybe here. I think. This lady here. And yeah, I think we're repeating now. Although I don't remember seeing that. Time for your art. So. But I remember seeing her. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you joining me and uh, checking out my channel. I hope you will come back. Would love for you to. Um, if you have, to have a minute, click like and subscribe and click on the bell. All right. Take care. Bye. See you next time.